you like my little Hogwarts emblem? That's Izod. Hello and hello and this is Mike Diamond. Y'all can call me Mandinka. You are watching Homework. And today we have a special viewer question. That's right. I'm going to act as your school marm today. Now I'm going to paraphrase because this bitch be long-winded. This These questions come from Shannon in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm going to paraphrase. Shannon wants to know. What is this rosebud I've heard mentioned? Dear God, tell me it's not when someone's butt prolapses. I work in a hospital. Prolapsing innards aren't desirable in that setting. I think she answered her own question. I think, she, I think she did. A rosebud is a yeah. prolapsed... But just for clarity's sake, the, the rosebud is when, when a queen has learned the nifty trick of pushing out the lower end of her anal canal uh, out of her butthole. Um, however, a prolapse, a pure prolapse, a pure prolapse, or the pink sock lollipop, as we like to, uh, and the whole thing comes out like a yeah. unless you're trunk a, butt. Uh, yes, unless you're a true true fan of Harry Potter, then we call it the dark mark lollipop. The rosebud is when you can push out the the rosebud and then pull it back in because you still have the muscle control. I like to call that the uh, red cabbage. So are people that are into prolapses cabbage patch kids? Uh, no, but let's coin that now. Let's yeah. let's trademark that. Yeah. That's new. That's let's new. Do that. Trademark that. Okay, moving on. Shannon wants to know: Does one just tuck the rosebud back in? Well, you know, you know, some. I think they can just suck it back in. But I think if, I've been, if you've been pushing it out too, too much, sometimes you might just need like you know two fingers just to to, to help it along. Maybe Shannon says maybe it's just the flared, angry anal opening. Look, jeans could be flared. I don't think that your anal opening should be. Uh, it's it's some part of the inner that comes outer. It's your and inner it, space. And it, it's kind of a blood red. And, um, you know, people kiss it. They love it. They hit it. They tap on it. You know, they appreciate it. They pay homage to it. They knitted a sweater for Christmas. They do. They do. Girl, you a could cozy, do that. A little yeah. cozy. A colon cozy. A colon cozy. Only from homework. That's right. Okay, ready? They'll be up on the website soon. Shannon wants to know, does fisting hurt the recipient? If you do it right. Um, I think, as with any... Uh, form of anal loving that you need to know what you're doing fisting is not for the uninitiated or the uninspired either uh, and you can't uh, or the unwashed or the unwashed exactly or the unregistered get out there and vote kids it's important that's right uh, but no it doesn't hurt or it, it doesn't it shouldn't hurt and if it's hurting uh, you're probably doing it wrong or sometimes maybe it could hurt a little bit as you're learning, uh, and that's just part of the process, but generally I think it feels good. Now, this is not to say that kids don't make sounds, crazy sounds, uh, and, you know, and, you know, moan out in pain. Oftentimes those might just be, uh, you know, the sounds of lovemaking. They're just geeking. Um, but remember, always have that buzzword, because if someone's really hurting you, you want them I to I thought stop. you could say, always have that buzz going. Always have That's that buzz. That's going to help you. Honey, trust me, if the buzz is going, nothing's going to hurt. Lube and what is and it? poppers, and, I think. And, you know, and, and, and what is it with that weird sound that people make? When, when like People always make the, the freakiest sounds when they're getting fisted. You know, uh, I've had people make all sorts of sounds, sounds like, that sounded like pain. But I remember one time I was fisting this one dude, and um, every time I'd stick it in, he'd make a, like a low growl, like a row. Like a, or like a motor starting up, and I was like, I wonder if he'll do it every time. And after a while, it sounded like an Ema Sumac song. It was like, row, 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 row. Trust. Yes. Yes, girl. Give me that look, bitch. I'll give you any damn look I want. Now, she also wants to know, do they actually enjoy being fisted? Do they have to be drugged to a near coma to endure it? I don't know, Michael, do they? No, I like to be wide awake for all surgical procedures. Do dudes need to eventually wear tampons or a rolled up sock in their butt because of loss of elasticity from fisting? Shannon, you're thinking about this a hell of a lot, girl. I know, Shannon. Uh, I, I do want to say that the uh, didn't you do a piece on the Gay Shoppers Network where they did uh, man ponds? Man ponds. Where they did Absolutely. create the man pond. Yes, and I'll link to it right here. Bring, ling, ling, ling. So it's you know it's unlikely that they would. However, if the need did arise, we've created that product for the kids. Well, I think because you know me and this one, we care about the community. What's going to happen is that these these. 
people that get fisted like that, they're going to end up with colostomy bags. And that's not very erotic. Actually. They're going to end up with colostomy bags, I do. I do want to say that the truth of the matter is, is that the muscle stretches and then retracts. And you don't lose that much tension in the butt. Although I do want to say that if you're a, a, an avid fister, eventually fucking you becomes boring because, you know, it's like that old adage. It's like sticking a pencil in a pail filled with water. It's wet, but you can't feel the sides if you're fucking them. Yeah, a hot dog in a hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, these, I'm sorry, these fisting bottoms can tell themselves whatever they want. They're going to be fucking sweeping the floor with the inside of their intestines if they keep it up. Uh, no, yes. no, mama. And listen, if you... The human uh, body wasn't built for that. It, if if you know if, it was built for oh but the human bo- the human the human body was built to to release a human being from the vagina yeah, yeah. So why not take a fist up to the forearm up your butt and let me tell you I've had my forearm up some guy's butt and uh, it's a beautiful thing it's yeah. a beautiful thing it, I feel connected to God because you know God spelled backward his dog and that's what I call my playmates she ends this by saying I can't help but look at Matinga's hands now during every episode. Love the show. Hope you make it huge. Shannon, I hope we've answered your questions. By the way, I love your music. Like, let the music play and give me tonight. That's right. Let the music gay. You won't, won't get, get away. away. Wait a minute. Who is the one that does? <sighs> um, oh, wait, wait. I need to get away. Oh, no, my lover has AIDS. <laughs> yes, I can is, help you. Is that Shannon? I'm your lover. Boy. Yeah. Is that yeah. Shannon? Yeah. Shannon. That was a big one in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. So, Shannon, we love you. Thank you for your letter. Yeah, so keep the roses in bloom. So, do you call yourself in the fisting scene Mama Rose? Is that like your <gasps> sobriquet online? Mama Rose. <laughs> I do like that. Yeah. Mama Rose. Mama's feeling hot. Mama's, Mama's punching down. Hot. But the thing is, is like I'm not the bottom, so I wouldn't be Mama Rose. I'd be Daddy Rose because I want the rose. I'd be Pete Rose. <laughs> How oh. do you be Pete's dragon? Just out of curiosity, what is your profile name on like Ass Pig or Fist Queen or whatever these things are where you find these guys? Uh, is it like Knuckle Sandwich or? Uh, well, my fisting, my fisting daddy top moniker is, it, it's a private thing. <laughs> You're going to gobble. <laughs> yeah, my top moniker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that's Honey, how I leave them with turkey waddle. Yeah, exactly. That's they have to turkey waddle away when I'm done oh, with them. Shit. That's why when I like when I when I when, I, when I, with the first time we always talk, I'm like, "Honey, I'm going to take I'm going to I'm going to make you shake out that pink." <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. Gobble gobble. This is Mike Diamond. This is Miss Matinga. You've been learned, Shannon. 